There's been a lot of talk about body cameras on police ever since an officer killed an unarmed man in Ferguson, Missouri, with different versions circulating of exactly what happened. Now Cincinnati already tested cameras and is now trying to figure out how to pay for them and store the video. But for most people, before they even heard of her Ferguson, police researched them in Bellevue, Kentucky. Local 12's Deborah Dixon tells us how that department worked out the problems that are holding others back. October 2013, Bellevue, Kentucky's police chief started thinking body cameras after an undercover heroin deal with two men in a car. Cops moved in. The driver took off, rammed a police cruiser, and after being cornered in an alley, hit a police officer. One of my officers, after seeing his partner get hit by a car, fired around through the window, narrowly missing one of the suspects. If the bullet hit one of the men in the car, video would have told the story better than wrecked cars and a shattered windshield. What this does with the cameras is it leveled the playing field. And the other thing is with a jury, it grabs them by the hand and takes them to the crime scene. The department studied and tested six different body cameras before picking one with a wide field of view and good audio. And this video helped to prove that the driver was actually drunk because he refused any field sobriety test. He, he wouldn't take a preliminary breath test, which is a little machine that the officer holds. Can't, can't even get out of the car. It gets worse or better if you think of it as evidence. He just continued to fall down. Retaining and retrieving video is a challenge for some departments. Bellevue has a folder on a laptop so officers can download video at the end of the day. It will go into that, that folder that's set up in the server. So anybody will be able to access those videos to review, but they won't be able to edit or delete at them or move them. Video for trial will be burned onto DVDs and kept on a portable hard drive. Since there are only 11 officers, buying the cameras was not that great an expense. Being ahead of the game worked out financially for Bellevue Police Department. The body cameras they bought were $299 a piece. After Ferguson, they went up to $399. Residents seem to like the idea. Now, with the way things are going, a police officer has to prove himself all the time. He has to prove that he's right. Bellevue, a sleepy river town jolted awake by big city problems that now can be caught on camera. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. And Chief Turner believes that when officers wear cameras, they use more verbal skills when they're dealing with a situation. And officers will be on the streets of Bellevue on Friday uh, for the Shop Bellevue PJ Party. Shoppers are invited to wear their pajamas and visit stores in the city. They're open from 11 to 9.